What's up, guys? This is Stranger Danger. I'm here today with my friend Max. Would you call yourself a local? Slight right, then. I'd call right. myself a local. You've been here for five years. Might as well call yourself that. <laughs> All right. So he's obviously not from here. If you can tell by his accent, he's from Moldova, Take the next right. uh, right which is near Russia. But he lives in Dubai now told him that I wanted to come here to take some photos and I was like, dude, we have to go to the Grand Mosque. I see all these photos from here and uh, it's a really, really beautiful place. So today we're going and I'm gonna show you how to get the best photos when you come visit here. Um, so I'm gonna give you a little tour of the zone and then show you the kind of photos that we're taking. And then when you guys come here, you can take some similar photos, put a creative spin on it and make it your own. So uh, let's get in there. You ready? Hell yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Tour buses, tour buses, tour buses. So my friend that lives in uh, Abu Dhabi, she wasn't able to make it today, but she was telling me she was here the other day and it's gotten very touristic and so she was disappointed by that. And uh, it's true, looks like there's a lot of people here, but I think we're gonna be able to find some zones where we don't really have to worry about how many people are there. You kind of just wait a sec and then uh, find your spot and then go start shooting. So uh, we're gonna try to navigate around all these people that are here. I've been to much more touristic places with hundreds or thousands of people at the same spot and still been able to get my shot. So it's not that bad. All right, I'm fully suited now. Head to toe. Uh, well, I didn't get the shoes that go with it, but yeah, got the headdress going. It doesn't really fit my head. I also have a giant head apparently. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go in there and get our photos. Starting off with uh, just walking around, see what we see. And uh, I kind of know what the cool photo is. You like go inside and uh, you get like just the that in the background. And then I don't know how we're gonna get it with no people though. So that'll be a little adventure of itself. But if there's a will, there's a way. You enter through the glass dome, right there. One of my favorite things about Arabic design is all the repeating patterns. So first you have all the triangles tessellating for the outside. And then on the glass you have this really uh, intricate star pattern. So cool. Alright, we're going inside right here. Big important guys, make sure you dress formally and not like it is. All ready? All set. Camera Let's do set. It. Let's do it. My boy right here, he's not getting in. Get in line and then get a ticket. Ah, look at what they call them. People of determination. It's so nice. So it looks like if you forgot to dress up, they give you this cloak. The red one. So that's cool. All right, so we had a close call in there. Uh, he wanted to take this camera away. Show him, show him what we got. Show him what we're working with. So we're a working G -Series with G-Series 24 1.4. They wanted to take that away for it being a zoom lens. I was like, what? And then he looked at my 70 to 200 and was like, no, you can't have it, it's too long. And I was like, okay, that's fair. Like 70 to 200 is pretty long. But that's a 24. And then, yeah, and this is a 24. Like I was just like, what? And then uh, luckily this woman talked some sense into him and was like, no, 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 no. Uh, the longest you can have is 200. 200 and lower is okay. So note to take 200 and under for focal length, good to go. If you have, so the problem will be if you have a 250 millimeter uh, Canon kit lens that comes with the camera and maybe Nikon has that too, I don't know. Um, but you gotta make sure to not bring your long kit lens because that one will get blocked and you'll have to take a long lap back to the car to put it back. Would not want to have to be that guy. Whenever I would see people wearing uh, Kenduras and this headpiece, I need to find out the name for it. I was like, how do they get that to stay on their head? And 
still don't get it. I'm trying to wear it and it's like impossible for it to actually stay on my head. Uh, I think I need like hair pins and it to actually fit me and a couple other things. It's a struggle. <laughs> All right guys, so the main hours here are 9 a.m. until 10 p.m. So you have a good amount of daytime to come here. It's probably the least busy if you get here either right when it opens or in the evening, but if you want golden hour, you can't come for sunrise because obviously you're not gonna skip all that security uh, without someone here to do it for you. Definitely would not suggest uh, trespassing in here. Um, so yeah, afternoon golden hour, sunset here today is 620, so we pulled up at five. I would have preferred to get here a little bit earlier, but uh, we had stuff to do today, so this was our only choice. And on Fridays, they don't open until 4.30 p.m. So 16.30 for international or whatever, but look at that. We here, let's go find some photo shoot zones. My first shot, I went right here, did a little vertical pan with the panoramic. And then it's, it's somewhere on your screen right now so you can see it, but yeah, some beautiful symmetry, really nice lighting right now. Um, not gonna bust out the full camera yet, just because I want to find all the zones and then I'll start for real shooting. The sun is just beaming into here. This is a cool, cool spot. Lots of people like we were one. But they've got stuff roped off basically. Selfie zone, all roped. So we're gonna skip that one. Hopefully we can find something that's not roped or I guess I'm gonna have to Photoshop the ropes out because that's kind of the view right there. Uh, okay, they've got it marked photo stop right there. No rope, get to shoot, get that beautiful background. I'm thinking right here with the zoom lens and someone just like way down there it would be super cool. Got a little bit of light there and then like so all the way out there where it's roped and the people are now basically, you can have that. And I think the shot looks about like this, but then obviously way better because I'll be shooting it with the good lens. So that's an option right there. So if you look at these other little zones, we got this one somehow completely empty. This is probably the best one to be in. Um, the sun has already passed below the the tops of the building, so you get no direct sunlight in here, but it still is like really soft, beautiful lighting. And then he was doing some really cool pans around there. You have to check this. I don't know if you see no, it. No, we're going to transition out. Max has lived here for five years and he's confident that nobody steals stuff. So what's really cool is that we just leave our things right here and nobody's gonna touch it because they would literally go to jail for like a long ass time and nobody would be cool with it. So basically right now I'm lining up a photo with this right here. We really, really like this hole. Um, and what's funny is it's still too bright outside so I'm waiting for it to get darker so I can get the perfect lighting on it and it's almost just there. I'm gonna start shooting it. Uh, well, Max is gonna shoot it and I'm gonna be in it because he's not dressed up. So yeah, people keep on stopping and then running in front. Is, like, But then when we take the serious photos, there's gonna be a horde of people that don't care. Big tip, try not to let people stop in front of you when you're shooting. It's better for them to just keep walking. A lot of people don't realize it's best to just keep walking because uh, anyone that's taking a photo, it's so much more comfortable to just shoot and have it be ruined than to have 20 people waiting for you while you're taking a shot. A guy just ducked under me while I was taking a selfie and really just have him, would rather have him ruin my shot, but it's of me, so I can't even see him, but it really do be like that sometimes. So we're kind of scrambling right now. Uh, you probably can't hear me over the prayer, but I'm gonna go for it anyways. Um, it's almost that perfect lighting, that beautiful 
Twilight Zone happening right here. And uh, we're just trying to find the very best spot. I think I want that in my background, but because the sun set that direction, my polarizer won't work that way. My headdress. And so I really want to be shooting that way. But this one's way bigger, so it's a tough decision, but we're gonna figure it out. So I had on the 24 earlier, it's the same focal length as the iPhone, uh, rear facing camera like the normal camera on photo. But now I've switched it up to the Sigma 14, super wide, trying to get a lot of information here and uh, just get all that in there. And Max has been killing it with these uh, cinematic pants on the Ronin. I really, the, like you all already have seen them, so now I'm stoked for you to see them, but then in the video that you're watching now, I'm glad you're watching them, because they're dope. He's killing it, he's doing all angles, this guy's crazy. Stay hydrated. We decided to take a break from the inside, we're coming to the outside, ooh, spicy. So we're gonna see what we can get right here on the outside. He's got his Ronin game going strong. And uh, I might see if I can do some like landscape shots or something. I'm kind of lazy on the landscapes. Not really a huge fan. So I'm pretty sure you can't like set up tripods or anything right there. I didn't bring one. It's usually not allowed to set up tripods in places where people are walking around. So didn't even bother bringing it. You probably should not bring yours. You might not even be allowed to. Uh, his running was fine. Nobody said anything about that. Um, but yeah, this isn't really my scene this late at night. So I'm gonna keep walking around and see what I can see. I'm like so sad that I don't have a model with me. Oh, I see someone with a tripod and no one seems to care. So tripods are on. Um, but yeah, I really wish I had like a proper model that was dressed up with the um, outfit. I think the female version of what I have on is called an abaya. And Max is lining me up for another shot. So I'm gonna go do that for my boy. So we tried to sneak to the North Corridor. You're only allowed to go on tours there. So we were like, oh yeah, we're with the tour. <laughs> and um, in like five seconds, we were taking photos already because it was like, oh cool, no lines. Uh, so let's start shooting. And then immediately the guy came up and was like, oh, if you wanna take photos, you gotta be on the South side. So that didn't really work out. They're not too mad about you like being an idiot here. Like, don't be a huge idiot, obviously. Like, I'm not gonna go run across the line and like just like get myself kicked out for a photo because when you go and post that photo where you got kicked out, then you're encouraging other people to do this stupid behavior and then they make it more restrictive here and then it's even worse. So if you're gonna come here, I highly recommend being respectful of the rules. It's not gonna get you far if you're disrespectful, obviously. Um, and yeah, have fun. I think there's a lot of really beautiful angles here. I think if you shoot literally anything other than exclusively girls in bikinis like I do, then you can do a lot of stuff here. I had kind of a hard time because there was no beach or underwater sections here, but it was still fun. Um, and if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more YouTube action. Uh, I might do more of this format if it is well received kind of exploring right now see what works so let me know in the comments below thanks for watching bye